Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Humphrey. So it's been a while since I did a video on the Kodao game engine and today I'm back with a video and uh, I want to share with you guys some of the best tutorials available for learning the Kodao game engine and some other tools that you can use to improve your game development using the game engine. So please click on the subscribe button and let's dive right into the video. So uh, the Kodao game engine is an open source game engine as you all know and uh, uh, currently is this the long awaited version 4 that um, does lots of promising features but currently it's still at the beta stage and the beta 11 was just out the other day uh, so maybe you want to have a go at the version 4.0 uh, so I want to tell you some of the differences there are uh, between the uh, version 4.0 and uh, the uh, preceding versions of Godot. So th there are lots of tutorials available right now and um, there are some channels, lots of channels you can find. But the problem is that probably you'd like to use version 4.0 and you, you want to start learning from there. So if you try following a tutorial made using an earlier version of Godot, that's version like 3.5 or uh, the earlier versions, it, it, it's kind of going to be difficult for you to pick up on this because there are several differences, there are several changes on the two. And following a tutorial using those other preceding versions will uh, lead into dead ends. You'll have like um, no where to continue yeah so i hope you understand that but uh so i'm here to guide you on what uh, procedure you'd like to what path you'd like to take so for the tutorials first of all um the first uh, uh the best one of the best channels for uh, good tutorials is fine point cgi fine point cgi really does uh, uh really good tutorials and if you are someone who likes learning through the creating projects right now there's a he's creating a game using god of War and it's it's kind of creating a game through a tutorial so it's a project based learning so if you follow the tutorial by the end of the video you'll come out uh, really knowing the the game in the sorry you, you'll end up having a grasp at god of version 4 and on this channel also there are lots of just Godot tutorials. There are Godot 3.2 tutorials, and so if if you want to start from earlier versions of Godot, I think a tutorial made using version 3. Point, the 3. Point versions of Godot, you can follow it using any version 3 uh, for Godot. So he has a Godot 4 tutorial and. Uh, that's the project based one and he does this in both GD script that Godot's inbuilt language and C sharp so if you want to follow it in C sharp well and good you can choose the C sharp path and he even shows you how to use VS code uh, for C sharp development in Godot and that's the thing is it's some good idea and then uh, there's also the GD script one the Godot's uh, home built language uh, you can also use that to create and then as a 3D game developer, you'll need um, you'll need to know a little bit of 3D modeling. And on his channel, also he does Blender for game devs, so it, it's handy for you. It's helpful for you at least to have a grasp of 3D modeling as well. Because there are moments where you'll need some assets that can be difficult to find in the asset stores and you can't buy them anyway. So I think that's also a good thing to handle. And just general Godot videos like uh, maybe there's something you learned about Godot he also shares that on his channel so you can check out G Fine Point CGI for amazing Godot tutorials like that and I think it will be of great help to you and um, there's also earlier when I started learning Godot there was, there was a youtuber by the name Bon CG CG, bon CG, actually, he did both 2D game creation tutorials and uh, 3D game creation tutorials for Godot, and it was using uh, Godot 
yeah, it, he updated it to version 3.5 so i think that's a good idea so you can follow through uh, his tutorial and l learn all the way through it and he also does blender tutorials as well godot blender and um, so if, if you are an open source community user there are these open source softwares blender godot it really it will really be beneficial for you to follow such um youtuber because uh, they'll be doing things related to your field of work yeah so bonsage is also another youtuber that you, you'd like to check out if you're a good developer so that's uh, is also one good youtuber who does um, good assets and then there's also the good documentation although uh, when you go to Godot website, they announced for the Godot version 4.0 documentation sprint and uh, with the release candidate for Godot version 4 being just around the corner, we want to make sure that the community is fully prepared and can dive right into it as soon as the new version is available. So to this end, there is a call to action to help in completing the documentation for Godot 4.0. So right now, it, it can be, it's not, there is no documentation for the version 4.0, so if you tried using the version 4, if you launch it on trouble, it can be difficult to have like a documentation to reference uh, to find a solution for your problem. So, uh, because they are uh, uh, moving towards the release of the uh, official good version 4, so there's a call to action for people to help with the creation of the documentation. But for the previous versions of Godot, um, the, the documentations are there. Yeah, yeah. 3.5 versions and you can also use the documentation to learn yeah, but uh, having it on your own maybe after following maybe a tutorial and then you try creating something on your own and you learn to travel maybe trying to use a method or some other thing yeah you can now opt to use the well, documentation for reference to certain problems but it can be difficult just to like use it to learn straight ahead yeah. but maybe if you can you can check it out there are and, try, uh, and if you're starting out from zero, I advise that it's good to start from 2D game development because 3D is a little bit complicated, a lot of math is involved and if you're totally new, it's good to start with 2D before you head out to 3D game development. Yeah. So, and for 2D, uh, you might also want to create your own assets and uh, having to draw sprites and all those kind of stuff. but that these 3D softwares for drawing, they are, ki they are kind of expensive, you know. Uh, if you can't afford them, there are lots of uh, free options available out there in the market. So like this uh, Krita, Krita. Uh, Krita is also an open source software for draw to like 2D, 2D art creation, and 2D art design, you know. And there's also Inkscape. Inkscape is also one good software. I even use Inkscape as well. There's GIMP. So there are lots of several options you can find out in the market. So guys, I think that was all about it for this update and um, I hope uh, if you've watched this far, I hope you like it and please click the subscribe button and I uh, hope to see you guys in the next video and if you would have any recommendation of what to do next, uh, I hope you do it in the comments below so that I would know what to do next for you guys so i hope you like it guys and 